welcome back to our channel. We're the Daunties. My name is Rochelle. I'm your favorite Donna, or MFD. So in today's video, we're going to do our very first baking video. We did challenge videos, and I did make cake pops in one of our challenge videos. That wasn't a real baking video. Um, it was a challenge and it was a lot of fun. We ain't doing that. No. So we're actually going to make the real deal. So just a little background about what we're going to be making. This is what has become known as Christmas in your mouth. And no Christmas in my mouth. No Christmas in my mouth. <laughs> so a year ago during Vlogmas last year, Oh Hello Robin was doing a giveaway and she wanted to know, I think like, Christmas traditions or Christmas foods or something along those lines. And I had made a long comment about Christmas in your mouth. Um, now this is actually white chocolate peppermint fudge, which tastes like Christmas in your mouth. Hence the nickname. That's what we call it. Cause and, when we yeah. eat it, it tastes like Christmas in um, your mouth. Yeah. And she actually read my, I didn't win the giveaway, but she read my comment um, on her video. And because she, read it, I was like, oh, okay, well, how about I send you some? So I sent her and Rod some la late last year because I made it around New Year's um, because we had a delayed Christmas last year. And um, they loved it. So I'm going to link that video if I can find it down below just so you can see their reactions. And we gave them a lot. So this doesn't seem like it makes a lot, but it really does. And it's so good. So let's go over what we need to make this Christmas in your mouth. So hopefully if you guys want to, you can make it as well because it is super easy and it is so, so good. We make, I, I make it every year um, because it's just so amazing. All right, so while we get everything together, I'm gonna show you some images of my past creations because a lot of you guys have been requesting pictures of what I've done. Um, so here's just a few and uh, we'll be right back. So, the first thing we're going to need is a quarter cup of butter. All right, so we have our butter ready. What else? Two cups of sugar. It's a lot, you guys, but we have two cups of sugar. It's worth it. A half a cup of sour cream. Weird, I know, but trust me, this is amazing. All right. Uh, baking chocolate. So, you're going to actually need 12 ounces of... Um, I used to use actually baking chocolate, the chunks, but it takes so long to melt down that I started using the white chocolate chips. So any brand, I think this is Ghirardelli, or is it Nestle? Go to your baking aisle, white chocolate baking chips, and you'll be fine. All right. One jar of marshmallow cream, the little jar, at seven ounces. So we actually put them in these ramekins just because it'll be a lot easier when it comes time to put this in. All right, a half cup of crushed peppermint candy. So I usually get the, the peppermints and grind them up in my food processor, but they were sold out everywhere. So we ended up going with candy canes and it was a pain to unwrap, I'm assuming, because I put her to work. Um, so we're gonna crush these candies, as many as you like. I like a lot of peppermint, um, but the $1 packs you can find at Walmart or Target is just fine. And a half a teaspoon of peppermint extract. There it is. You can see it in there. Extract. All right, that's all you need. All right, so the very first step is to actually take a pan 
line it with foil and cover it in butter. This will come in handy later whenever we come to take it out. All right, so what's the first thing we gotta do? Now in a large heavy saucepan, combine the sugar, the sour cream, butter. Sugar, sour cream, and butter. Cook and stir over medium heat until sugar is dissolved. All right, so while we're actually doing that, we're going to also do the crushing of the peppermint. So the rest of this video is more than likely gonna be fast forwarded until it comes to the next steps. Um, but let's, let's get started. Okay. So we are currently mixing the first three ingredients, the sour cream, the butter, and the sugar. We're going to cook this over the heat until um, the sugar is dissolved, and then we want to bring it to a boil. So that is what we're waiting on. We have to constantly keep this stirring because we don't want the sugar to burn. So we're switching off right now just so we don't get too sore because we're going to be sore the very last step of this process. So we're trying to save our energy. <laughs> Okay, so get this, you guys. We are recording this on Saturday, December 7th. The 7th. And she's already begging me to open up her Christmas presents. What's wrong with that? It's already wrapped in under the tree. I should get to open it. She is a child. So it is now starting to boil. Now what we're going to do is bring it to a rapid boil and we need to heat it up to 234 degrees. So at this point, now that we do have some bubbles forming, we are going to put in our candy thermometer and watch that temperature. If you don't have a candy thermometer, all you need to do is let it boil for about five minutes and that'll be about the right temperature. And what do we need to do? Keep stirring. Always keep stirring. Don't Okay, now that we have reached our desired temperature, this next part goes super quick. We're going to mix in, take it off the heat, and then we're going to mix in the uh, marshmallow cream and the chocolate. I'm gonna start with the chocolate first so it can get melted, because once the marshmallow cream is in there, it's gonna be really hard to stir. And then from there, we'll come back. Next, we're gonna uh, add in the peppermints that I crunched up. I crunched those up. And the peppermint extract, and then we're gonna keep mixing until it's all mixed up really, really good. Here goes. This definitely takes two people because it is a chore. Once everything is well combined, we're going to pour it into our tin and pop it in the, in the refrigerator for a few hours. 
and then it'll be done. So this is what it's going to look like once it's all done and mixed together. It goes super quick. This probably takes a total of 15 minutes um, to make, um, but this is going to be amazing. So we're going to let this chill for a few hours, and then whenever it's done, we'll show you the finished product. But, you know, we have a little bit here, so get a roll in. Is it good? That's Christmas in my mouth. It's a warm Christmas in your mouth, but Christmas in your mouth nonetheless is going to be amazing. Of course, like it, it always is. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we are back. We just took this out of the fridge. It's been about two hours, and it is firm. So the reason why we line this with butter and with the foil is so we can easily lift this out. So we're going to lift it out and cut it up into many, many little squares, and uh, we'll be done. You ready? Okay, and my favorite part, the eating part. All right, so this is the white chocolate peppermint fudge that we made, also known as Christmas in Your Mouth. And it it is a lot. It may be a small can that we used, but it makes a lot. Um, usually with one batch, we'll put like, divide it up into about four tins and give one to each of the families. And they love it, they fight over it, they always want more. Um, but one batch is huge. So what are we gonna do with this one? Eat it's it. A, it's a little too early for Christmas. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> All right, so tell us, what does it taste like? It tastes like Christmas in my mouth. <laughs> it is really good. And I am a huge white chocolate lover. So this is just perfect. And yeah, you did good. Thank you for helping me. <laughs> Your Christmas in my mouth. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so that is everything we have to share with you guys today. I know this, there were a lot of requests for this recipe whenever Oh Hello Robin got some that I sent her last year. Um, but I'm going to leave all the information down below, the directions and the ingredients as well as the measurements. And if you guys decide to make this, let me know. I would love to see pictures of them. Um, and let me know what you guys think because this is always a hit whether I take it to work or to your families or my family just eats it up. It's crazy. Um, but it's so good and it's so perfect for the holidays. Oh, and now it's time for you to go do the dishes. The best part. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye!